search. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Don't tread on me. Love it or leave it, my friends. That's what the governor of New York says. That we should give up all of our freedoms and accept abortions and accept turning our guns in or leave the state. How about you leave the state? That's treading on you, ladies and gentlemen. But I don't want to be treaded upon. I don't want to be food for somebody that claims they have this authority and just dominates everyone. By the way, there's a big controversy around the nation as police start wearing ultralight cameras. And I don't have any problem with that. If, if, if we're going to be able to film them in public, which federal courts just ruled and state courts and just ruled in the last week, two different courts, strange two rulings, one in Maryland, I think one was in Illinois, uh, that uh, the police can no longer arrest you for filming them in public. Well, by the same token, then you can't stop them filming you. And, and, and my issue is that that'll make them behave better. I'm not against cameras out in public if we have them as well. What I don't like is in privacy, 
them spying on our phones, our Twitter, our Facebook, our emails, reading everything, tracking us, and then using that data to corner financial markets. That's the essence of illegal spying, wiretapping. Anyone could ever go out in the public square and see what people are doing, see what they're saying. And in my experience, the system does not like cameras pointed back at them. Now, I don't like the fact that there is a total control grid of license plate readers and that there are cameras up at every street corner tracking where you go because there's no probable cause and you're being tracked as if you're a criminal. That is wrong. The total control grid under common law and common sense is designed to abuse people and tax people's mobility, which is an ancient form of oppression. So you, I want to be clear. They're conflating it that, oh, my gosh, the police are wearing cameras. Well, I've got a camera, too. So you've got yours and I've got mine. And I didn't see any problems with the Austin police when we went down for the open Carry March, Jakari and the crew did a great job Wednesday and Saturday. Those videos are up on Infowars.com. And the, the Austin police we talked to were like, we're pro-Second Amendment, right to keep and bear arms. You have a right to march, open march, and we also support street preachers in the First Amendment. And people online are like, wow, man, that cop talked to you and was nice. Yeah, that's how they're supposed to act. And that's how I'd want to be if I was a cop or anybody else. I want to treat people like I want to be treated. You know, we all go overboard. The police get emotional sometimes as well. And, you know, I was up in Dallas and the police were being pretty nice to the Federal Reserve. And they sent this cheerleader style woman over to tell me I couldn't be out there to demonstrate. And then I started screaming at her. So they sent the riot police. But by the time they got there, we left an hour later. <laughs> really was screaming at those cops. But you know what? I don't apologize for it because I was real nice till this woman shows up and says, you, you, you don't have free speech in Dallas. We, we have an ordinance. Lady, your ordinance is toilet paper. Just like some ordinance against wiretapping in, 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 in Maryland. Some state law saying videoing cops in public's wiretapping. No, it's not. And you know it's not. And you know my political speech is protected when I'm on a sidewalk, not blocking the road, bullhorning the Federal Reserve. So see, I say I shouldn't have blown up at her like that, but I starts making me mad. That is treading on me. People go, oh, don't get so upset. Folks, we've gotten the position we are because we lay down like a doormat. A nation of sheep will be ruled by wolves. And I physically get upset by people wanting to dominate me because I'm free, folks. Americans were always some of the freest people compared to other nations because Americans would rather kill than be a slave. Americans would rather kill, I'm going to say that again, then let somebody slight them. I mean, people were very polite in, in the old Amer Americana culture, not just the South. That's where it got outlawed by the 1870s. What do you think that is in the old Westerns where we're two guys, and I'm going to go to, I'm going to, go to Chris, I'm going to get to you, Chris, I'm going to play a special report and then get to you. What do you think that is in the old Westerns where it shows the, come on, Sheriff, think you're so tough, let's go outside. And then they draw and shoot each other. That's really what went on. But it didn't happen very often, like Hollywood says, because people were real polite. Because it didn't matter who somebody was. If you cheated them in business, if you beat somebody's daughter up or raped her, you're dead. And it wasn't, they finally done the histories and gone back on all the letters and stuff. And like my great, great, great grandpas and people. And man, reading the letters and the stuff is just, there's just like safety deposit boxes full of it. It sounds better than any Western. The stuff that was going on, the stuff that was having like, you know, had four wives, you know, the three would die and he'd you know, have a fourth and have like 30 something children. And like, uh, you know, somebody cheated him. So he went over and pistol whipped him to death. And then they had a trial and, then, you know, the jury found not guilty. And, you know, just like, just all sorts of just, and then this guy did this, and that guy did that, and just like, I mean, my ancestors just, I mean, you know, were really nice to give the shirt off their back, but if you mess with them, they would kill you just instantly. I mean, or, or you're going to, somebody's going to die. Now look at what a wimp I am compared to those people. And it wasn't they were looking for trouble. They were the nicest, sweetest, 
upright people, man. But they were going to live. They were going to have kids, and they were going to plow, and they were going to build, and they were going to they were going to get strong, or they were going to die trying. And anybody got in their way, anybody tried to keep them down, they were going to kill you. And if you walked into a place and said somebody's wife was a whore, you were going to go outside and you were going to have a duel. Because if you talk the talk, you got to walk the walk. Government doesn't have to do that today. All this scum doesn't have to do that today. You cheat somebody today, most of the time you don't get in trouble for it. But let me tell you how you get in trouble. No one will do business with you. I love people that have cheated me over the years or done stuff. And then years later they go, did you blackball me or something? Nobody will give me a job. And I go, no, no one has to blackball someone that goes around cheating people. No one has to blackball someone that goes around lying about people. People see that type of stuff and they don't want to associate with you. And then people see folks that don't kiss and tell about things that are going on, good things. People that don't cheat, people that don't steal, people that want to be honorable. That's the real society. And let me tell you, that society is still what's making the West run and operate, even though there's a corrupt society above it and below it. And it's that society that's got this country still operating and still running. And the professionals out there in every walk of life that are honorable because their daddy was honorable and because their mama was honorable. And they wouldn't think about doing something bad or cheating somebody or hurting somebody because it feels bad to them, but also because what would their grandma think even though she's dead? Now, the establishment boys, they call that a goody two-shoes square. They call that an idiot. They call that a fool. I call that civilization. And that doesn't mean everybody's perfect. doesn't mean you don't get mad and do things that are wrong. Every one of us has got our own sins, our own problems. But what God judges is the heart. And that's why they say before you go into battle, better get your heart right with God. Better get lined up with God. And when you get lined up with God, believe me, you feel it. You feel eternity. You feel love. You feel strength. You feel honor. But you also feel very ashamed. That's why people call in and tell me how great I am. No, I'm not. I, I can feel the presence of God. I feel ashamed at how bad I am. Even though people wouldn't look at the stuff I do and go, you're a pretty good guy, man. What do you mean? Doesn't matter. I'm still wicked. As the day is long, I'm a wicked. How do you think I know how the new order operates? I've got that area in my brain too. We all do. But see, my good side is so much bigger than my dark side, my evil side. That's how I'm able to continue on. Just like you're able to continue on. Fight the good fight. Now, speaking of mind control with the face scanners going in, Car manufacturers are always looking for ways to make driving safer. Oh, like proximity to other vehicle systems that will tax you by the mile. And now live cameras of the police. And in the future, dashboard and motion detectors could search for signs of irritation in a bid to identify the first signs of road rage. A prototype of the device is able to read a driver's facial expressions using tiny embedded camera. And they're coming out with it. And, oh, you're going to get an insurance discount if you get it. Speaking of mind control, here, Ian, we're going to go to Chris in Carolina. Robert, is Robert in Ukraine? Oh, he's in California. Laura, Tom, and Travis. And I, I'm going to go to you. I've been bad, a little hoggish with my babbling, my, my inane, in amongst the inane babbling. They could make out two words, Hobbit and Shire. It's kind of like my show. But... In amongst the inane babblings, there is some information there. Let's go ahead and go to this report by David Knight on mind control. Here it is. It used to be that your privacy was invaded by people breaking into your home, listening to your phone calls, opening your mail. 
But technology has made it far easier for criminals and governments to invade your privacy. As a matter of fact, you could argue that metadata is far more dangerous than just listening to people's phone calls or opening their emails. InfoWars has been warning you about this for a long time. Here's just one article from four years ago where we told you about Google's cozy relationship with the CIA, joining with them in an internet monitoring project.